Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, Solo Supreme, and welcome back to the Belligerent Brazil campaign in Victoria 2, where we last left off. Seeing that the Colonial Race competition is nearing a boiling point, and it might erupt into a great war, but so far, because of the power is being so occupied over here in this territory, including like North Germany, we've had free reign over Central and Eastern Africa right now. And judging from it, we might be able to dip into Southern Africa. I'm trying to see if we can race uh, towards the tip. Let's see, get this one. Yeah, let's pause it for a day. No naval base close enough to this. Okay, so we don't have a direct border with it yet. Yeah, we don't have enough colonial power uh, also. But we are moving like slowly down Africa. This is gonna help us out a lot. And right now, I am trying to see we're trying to purchase up all this cement off the world market. Speaking of purchasing, let me go back to automate for you and go back to automate for you. All right, so that's done. We go for this. Yeah, let's go for late classical theory. We're trying to recoup our economy. Trying to make us a presentable nation, like able to compete with like the better nations in the world. Uh, do, 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 secularize, let's see. Could go to free trade right now. I kind of believe we'll restructure the hell out of the economy, but let's see. We might go to the Karaoke party. It's the other liberal party. We'll see about that. We can add Columbia to our sphere. But it's saying I'm going to lower everyone's points right now for the time being. All right. All right, African units over here. Try to lower everyone's total score. All right, so I can say we're done purchasing up cement, so we can go back to automate with that. So these railroads, I'm just hoping like they're gonna be quickly built, so we'll have we won't have like these troop transportation issues. All right, as you can see, it's taking forever for our units to cross through this and we're taking some attrition. But when these railroads are done, it should be like smooth sailing. Come on, United States, give up. Yeah, give up. Where is the rest of Ethiopia's troops? Unless they're getting killed, uh, am I missing something? Yeah, Brits are, it looks like the Brits have invaded. They probably came through like from British India or something. All right, we can make a protectorate in Kenya and Zanzibar. Let's go for you and Somaliland. You won't run right here, yeah, you and Heroland. And Lindy, you're okay, you're good. Um, yeah, we're almost to the southern tip of Africa. Like this competition, oh, and Britain got into another competition with uh, France right after they took British Liberia. Oh, this is awesome. They're gonna be so occupied down here. They're even tied up with Germany. Yeah, while they're bickering over 
that useless garbage of land. We are expanding our influence throughout Africa. So let's add you to sphere, Colombia. All right, the Liberal Party is still in power. All right, this is done. Let's keep up this. We could go military a little bit. No, let's just keep this up. So let's go for practical steam engine. Spread it to August. So Colombia is now within our sphere of influence. Uh, I think we still need to get iron steamers and nitroglycerin. Yeah, we need uh, this to finish, and then we have to go get the interchangeable parts. That is fine. We don't have as much uh, diplomatic influence points, but we'll focus on like this down here soon enough. Communism has been discovered. Yep, yeah, looks like there has to be a great war brewing. Alright, you guys are coming back. Suffer from some attrition. Alright, tax efficiency is up. Alright, so get three more of you guys, and then we, I guess we could. Actually, let's get rid of you and then have you guys be built over in Africa. Oops, looks like this is a little too much. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, focus on increasing you. Keep helping our guys invest. We're over 50% literate, that's good. I create a protectorate here. Go down to Botswana. Uh, all right, it looks like the British are. Okay, they gave up the thing with North Germany to focus on down here. Uh, Well, it looks like they'll be able to get Northern Cape and probably Cape Colony or maybe Namakland. Okay, yeah, Ethiopia. They accepted the status quo. So Ethiopia got into that long drawn out war for pretty much no reason because uh, Britain made the Panama Canal. I mean, the Suez Canal. Uh, all right, so let's go for interchangeable parts. Come on guys, get these railroads up. We don't have a super high population. But we can't. I'm not going to uh, relinquish this fear yet. See if I can get even higher. Seems like I'm competing with the U.S. and... Britain when it comes to this sphere with Colombia. United States is trying to go all in right now.
Hey, green output is going up. That's good. International crisis in Slovakia. Wait. Oh, it seems like Slovakia wants to exist or something. Yeah. What is this looking like? Austria. North Germany. Austria. I kind of want to see if we can get in on this war. Okay, so the United States just banned France. <laughs> okay, so they kind of played a little bit dumb on there. Ah, oh, shit. We're getting like competitors over in this section. All right, looks like this last bit is about to be gobbled up. See if we can get that at least. Uh. You know what? Let's hop in on this. We actually are going to consider joining in on this war. See if we can get British Guyana. Take that from them. Or hey, maybe even try to take South Africa. Maybe. Or we could even be more expansive and try to take a chunk of India or even like down here in Guinea. Hey, even the colonization in Guinea isn't too high because of like of all the competition. All right, lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. All right, so this is gonna be an interesting matchup. Strongly inclined is for Austria. I want to see if when France joins. I want France to join, or at least the UK to join the opposite side. Let me see. They hate them. They hate North Germany. So you know what? Support Austria. And France joined in on our side. We're going to show that we're not going to sit around anymore. I hope this crisis does kick off, though. Oh, they accepted a white piece. That sucks. Looks like Britain gave up over here. I create a protector or what? Twenty-four. Hey, 
that's done. Let's get some of this other stuff done. Actually, let's focus on some military. Or should we just stay on here for just a little bit longer? Um, Let's actually go for iron steamers. Let's go for them real quick. Still in this thing with France. Uh, these railroads are almost done. Let's try to keep them out of Colombia. And actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch over to these guys is laissez-faire. Here comes the hurting. Or the military spending. This is where the hurting is gonna come in because we're gonna do this economic restructuring right now. Raise taxes on the rich, at least to cushion us. Here comes the pain. And we're gonna have to restructure our economy. Laissez faire is gonna help us because the AI is gonna take control over our economy. I hope I didn't do it too early. See if I can get this done and then try to loop, uh, try to capture Aroma. France captured their little bit of South Africa. Britain is competing with me over down there too. So it was mostly just one word codes. This area is gonna be empty because I'm not gonna, if it's still open in the end, I'll try to go for it. Spain is trying to invade Nedge. All right, so let's see. With Colombia, we got all this going on right now. They're gonna try fiercely to capture Columbia for me, and so that's why I'm trying to get iron steamers and hopefully machine tools and nitroglycerin finish. All right, so we got railroads up here. France was an ally to Austria. We have Belgium, which is, I'm surprised that they actually managed to become a great power and defeat Netherlands in their own war. 
Call the ally from Spain. Who is this? What? 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 France is trying to. Uh, I don't want ally with Spain anyway. And Persia is whoa. So Russia is after Persia. What are they gonna take? They're gonna take Corzon and Fahan and Fars Kerman. They're gonna take this. Wow. They're basically taking the like ninety percent of. Oh no! It'll have like two states left. They're taking all of this and then all, pretty much all of this. Wow, Persia may not exist at the end of this game. That is sad. Not unexpected, but it's sad, nonetheless. How long will this take? March of this year. All right, so. We can pass a new reform now. Social reform, we need this. What anything? What's the voters' rights and suffrage movement? Uh let's go for weighted universal and that's what they want. Should have did the other thing for the social reforms, but eh. Eh. Humbug. Should also go for social science to get the increased education. Because we would always love to have that. Second liberation against Schleichen. Wow. They're doing it because France is distracted right now. Alright, so since that's done, let us go for a tax efficiency because we're going to need to tax our people more due to the way our economy is right now. Why would you want military access, Wartenberg? I have no idea, but I'll give it to you anyway. I'm going to need this so we could get these taxes up on our people. Come on, it's going to be finished by the end of May. Sure, you can have military access to me, North Germany, or you're probably talking about Africa. That'll at least make sense for you. Uh, and also what would make sense for me is I should start promoting crafts, man. Oh, we found diamonds and hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. We'll probably start doing that because we certainly need the boost. Tax and the poor, middle class, everything's at 50% right now. Try to soften this cushion until we get our economy restructured. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, Venezuela. Are we friendly with them already? Oh no, we're neutral. All right, so France took over the rest of this down here, so they don't have to deal with that. Britain dropped off some troops. And their troops are like, just going about in my nation right now. Hey, France. I could give France military. Oh no, they have military access. They just aren't doing anything. Alright, the 
legitimate grievances. He's in the race in the Mac land. This isn't the Mac land, but let's put a point in here. Point in here. Oh uh, yeah, and you're done. You, this is not really worth the point. And on top of that, let's get you up and running. You can have the Mac Lamb in Britain. Yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to keep what's your name, France distracted long enough. I really want Somaliland. I'm hoping like France's Navy or their navies get crushed so we can have okay they only got six ships but they have a lot of naval ports and such I'm hoping that it'll like allow me to get the advantage on them over here let's kick it up to speed four Gonna have to get, increase our railroad levels again. Venezuela, we can increase our pain with them. Now, cordial. All right, so that's done. Uh, almost when it hits 1880, that's when I'll focus back on military. And until then, let's go for. Let's go for business regulations. All right. Let go my law. All right, we're very accepted a piece of deal, but I'm gonna pause the game and continue on with the campaign. So it looks like Bavaria accepted a piece deal, and they had to dismantle the fortifications of Franken. Uh, we can pass another reform. I'm guessing universal. Everyone is allowed to vote now. Huzzah! Go back. Allows construction of monitors. We still gotta wait on that. We just need to get nitroglycerin to finish. And once that's finished. Alright, so France accepted a peace offer from Spain. What else do we need for this? Military statistics and scientific management. Uh oh. Oops. Uh, we'll get on that shortly. All right, so now we're generating some extra income now, so we're not completely broke. Austria. But was it a peace? Austria accepted a peace offer from the North German Federation. Oh, so Germany lost that war. And Austria admitted hegemony. Okay. America is influencing the hell out of Colombia right now. If we get the Suez Canal, that'll be such a huge win for us. Yeah, I believe we should also begin to focus like mainly on military techs for uh, the next couple years. Let's get military statistics done so we can finish out that one thing. Increase here. All right, that's done. France is no longer tied up 
in score. But I want Somaliland. All the other great powers are like just competing like hell for this right now. Ooh, hard work and toil. Let's get that. I'm gonna make this episode a little bit longer than usual because I've been on a little mini marathon streak and I plan on releasing two videos of this per day. I should have said that in an earlier recording, but oh well, you guys will find out. Wait till we get at least 4% press when we yonder. That's in Somaliland. I want Somaliland. All right, military statistics is done. Let's go for a strategic mobility. Yeah, just gaining this, you know? We'll be able to handle the situation down here fairly soon. Just trying to keep up the pressure on Colombia until we can get Suez built, and then I'll focus on Venezuela because I know we'll probably get desphered from Colombia. Should be like, where is it? Four percent now. Yeah. And then this is the one we need scientific management done. All right, let's get back to there. Damn. Uh. We just couldn't keep up with it, so we're not going to be able to gain Somaliland. Withdraw from here, recoup our losses in Lindy, and we'll call it even. Fuck. Damn you, France. And then we, I guess we can also do the Libyan Desert. Might as well. We can get these last two chunks. Hopefully before Ottomans get to it. And look at Persia. Persia is now one. They even took Gilan from Persia. Persia is just Irakajimi. Erica Jimmy. This is Persia. This is what happened to Persia. They took all of the coal provinces from Persia. Wow. Persia is now just a landlocked country. I feel very, very bad for Persia. All right. That's done. Let us also get scientific management out the way. Try to hurry up for that. Come back to uh. Oh wait, didn't this one get finished? Oh yes, this one also got finished. We could come back to those two. Then nitroglycerin is done. Build Panama Canal. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It is ours. We have Panama now, so the rest of the great powers should slowly just start losing interest. Give them a month to let it sink in. I think it has because they stopped. Oh, well, UK is trying again, but it doesn't matter. We have Panama. It's now the Brazilian Canal. Yeah, they're losing interest, so the point rate is dropping for them. For number co, okay, for number co is done. There we go. Just keep trying to like promote craftsmen in some of these other places. So we can recruit. All right, so I'm gonna end this episode off right here. 
uh, I let this go on a bit longer than I kind of thought I would, but hey, we managed to get the Panama Canal under our control, which just proves how dominant we are within our sphere. And maybe we should look north to our competitor in the north, the United States, and see if we could possibly do something about them. Like, right now, we actually have a slightly bigger military than the United States. They have more prestige than us by not that much, like about like 55 points. And uh, they have whew, industry that just pisses all over ours. But I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to follow along closely. And with that said, I hope to see you guys again another day when I record. <laughs> so this is Soul Supreme, and I hope you guys have a great day. Now this one is pure niceness.